What's up, y'all? This your boy Papa Black Hoodie, man. Coming with episode two of Blavery. Where we land it all down in front of you. Today, we look at pantheons. The pantheons of our ancestors. Now, for those who don't know, a pantheon is multiple deities that are being worshipped for different reasons. Now, the common misconception about pantheons is that people believe that it was multiple gods and all of them was worshipped, when in fact, that's not the case. So when you see the pantheons of the Greek or the Egyptians, you know that these are aspects of the divine. Horus, Tal, all of these forms are said to be aspects of Ra. They said they're the children of Ra. If you look at Judaism today, you know, they got the angels. Each angel has a function. They're over something. Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, you know, these angels, they all had functions. But these functions that they fulfilled or that they were were things that God did. So it's like, they were aspects of him. But you know, the stories would say, oh, he's a messenger. And, or he's the one who brings about the wrath of God, like they were just doing his job or whatnot. In actuality, you know, these, this is God taking care of his business. The Trinity of Christianity. You had the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These all are said to be God. People will wonder, like, well, how can we have three gods? It's not that we have three gods, but that God manifests himself in three ways. It's the same in pantheon. It's something, you know, for the man to think on, to contemplate on when you see the paintings on the wall, the, 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 the carvings in the wall. This was how they gave it up, you know. I think today, everybody believes that we can understand God. God is, is to be understood. The divine, these divine things, all of it is able to be understood but no you know God is all known he's all you know the best planner and he's beyond us humble yourself my brothers and sisters and see it for what it is